What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go over everything that you need to know in regards to the brand new season three reloaded update. The update's right around the corner starting on May 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That gives us just over two weeks until this update goes live. The marketing will begin next week on Wednesday showcasing and advertising what the new content is gonna be like. But in this video, we already got all that information and I'm gonna cover it for you guys. So if you find it helpful or informative at any point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. Com. It's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators, help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more. And the reason why I promote them is they do everything 100% legit without using mods or unlock tools. And not to mention they have some of the best reviews. So check them out. The link will be down in the description. Now, the first piece of content we're going to get is the new classified battle pass sector. That's going to end up being uncovered as of right now. It says what, like 16 days until it goes live. So the first day of that reloaded update, it will be available. No surprise there. The bow 27 AR is going to be the brand new weapon that will appear there. This will be accessible for all platforms. Even if you don't own the battle pass, you're still gonna be able to do the challenges. There's gonna be a total of five of them. Every single challenge will give you a different reward. Sometimes there will be aftermarket parts there. A lot of times it's like XP tokens, calling cards, and other things like that, all the way up until you get to the very last one, which will be the brand new DLC weapon, and in this case, the BAL 27 AR. I want to cover this one first because it impacts all modes. Something else that will impact all modes are gonna be the upcoming events. We only have one that has been announced by Call of Duty, and that's going to be the Call of Duty Endowment Military Appreciation Month event. Other than the name, they didn't tell us if it was challenge based, if it's XP based. You can also expect a couple of other events that will take place. We went over all the camel rewards that were added in the season three update, so maybe some of those will be available as potential rewards. If you missed that video, I'll have that link down in the description. There's also going to be brand new operator skins and bundles coming in, which we did talk about yesterday, so I won't repeat the same information. You could just expect around 26 different operators and bundles that are going to be added. And if you want the details on some of the ones that we know and saw already, like Winter Task Force and uh, some bunny operators and some spooky looking ones, the link will be down in the description for those. But now, according to leakers and something that Call of Duty hasn't confirmed yet on their own is we are getting a crossover in the reloaded update and apparently it's going to be bringing in Devin Booker. It is a completely random collaboration, but we did see Kevin Durant added in the past. There may be an event tied with Devin Booker, as you guys know, unlike with MW2 and MW3, whenever they bring in crossovers, they will have an XP based event where the more XP you gain, the more rewards. And then there's like around 10 rewards that you'll be able to get. You get an XP boost if you use this new operator skin. They're probably going to do something like that with Devin Booker. It might be like an NBA event as a whole. As I did mention, because they are very tight lipped right now with the events that are going to be coming in, there might be some more surprise crossovers. In terms of leaks, this is the only one that has been leaked so far. So we may end up seeing another random one or two crossovers. They don't do one per reloaded update. They usually will add maybe two to three. And we've seen that throughout the entirety of MW3's life cycle. So expect some more crossovers to come in. Once that blog post drops, we'll have a little bit more information. But as of right now, he's the only operator that was revealed by leakers. Going into the multiplayer new content that we have, the very first thing are going to be the new maps that we will get. This is Checkpoint, a new repurposed map coming into core 6v6. And this is basically the stronghold area of Rebirth Island turned into a brand new map. And these are the photos that we have of it. So it looks very similar just remastered to be fit into a 6v6 category type of style. I do mention that this is a small scale map. For those of you guys who like that fast paced action, this might be a good map for you. The next one that we have is called Grime. This is a brand new, all new created map. It is a core 6v6 map. And in terms of size, it is small to medium, which is just a tiny bit larger than the checkpoint map we just talked about. This map will be taking place in England's capital city, London. It will feature canals, underground tube trains, overheads, and a bunch of just different areas, waters, docks. Apparently there's a boathouse there as well. The photos don't do it quite justice because you don't see many of the things that they listed here in the description. They mentioned also a cafe an urban layout and a lot of cover opportunities. And they just showed like four photos of it. But these are the ones that we have following that there are some brand new game modes coming in. The first one that we have is called the minefield. They say in the same way that seasons two horde point was hard point, but with zombies, this one, just think of it as a multiplayer, but with mines known as minefield. And basically every single time you get an elimination, the player will drop a mine on the floor. This mine will be friendly. Although you're not going to be able to pick it up, this will do deadly damage to other enemy players. It won't harm your teammates either. So uh, the more eliminations you get, the more mines it drops on the floor and the harder it will be for the enemy team. And that will be across kill confirmed, domination, and hard point. The next mode that we have is called escort. If you guys played OG Warzone, then you know that this mode is called payload originally. To explain the details, both teams will have unlimited respawn. 
spawns, you will face off on a variety of different maps with one side protecting an MAW as it maneuvers across the map. The goal of the enemy team is to try and slow it and stop it as much as possible. There will be a timer to see how long it takes one team to take it to the finish line. After the round ends, there will be a second round where you will swap sides and do the same exact thing and whichever team ends up getting the less time, then they will end up winning the game. The last piece of new content for multiplayer is the new equipment. There's going to be a new tactical called an EMD mine. This is a proximity triggered mine that will stick to surfaces and one once triggered, the mine shoots out tracker devices that reveal the enemy location and the direction until it is removed. Unfortunately, we don't have a photo of it, just that little description. And then we also get a new field upgrade called Enhanced Vision Goggles called the EVG. And this toggles between normal vision and enhanced vision with integrated targeted highlighting and has limited battery. And this is what the photo of it that they provide looks like. Other than that new content, now we jump into zombies. Everything new pretty much comes in for zombies because they always wait till reloaded. The first First thing is the Dark Ether story continues and now you are saving Dr. Jansen. An unknown force of disturbing power has its psychic tendrils wrapped tightly around Dr. Ava Jensen. The doctor has been lured onto a new region of the Dark Ether. This is the new location. This will be basically a remastered of Almazar's hydroelectric if I'm not mistaken. And the goal is to go in there with Ravenov and find and bring back Dr. Jansen and they also mentioned that there's also going to be activities contracts there's even more secrets that are going to be highly classified schematics that are going to be included in there as well and here's what the new schematics are going to be so you have dead wire detonators the, this is what it looks like but it says are you still shocked at the impressive electrical damage dead wire ammo mod inflicts then you might want to employ the dead wire detonator and it attaches to all your explosive weaponry including lethals and launchers the next one is called the golden mask filter schematic and this a prize schematic with a shiny hue and impressive long lasting effect Gain a self-regenerating gas mask for the rest of the mask. This comes in extremely handy for surviving zombie strongholds and any surprises in the rifts. Then you have the Sergeant's Beret. It says your outcomes no longer need to be terminal when dealing with Zach Ayev's hired guns. Simply don the Sergeant's Beret to disguise yourself among the mercenaries and you summon a trusty mercenary bodyguard who shadows you until the end. Following that, there's also a brand new warlord named Rainmaker. This is the photo that we have of him. He'll be located near that small island by Shaheen Manor known as Raha Island. And then as his codename suggests, he is an artillery and demolitions expert. Through the island compound, it's relatively easy to reach, but once you get on there, there's gonna be mines, mortar rounds, RPGs, and a lot of other different assault maneuvers that he's gonna be using, and you'll need to go in there to fight him, very similar to how some of the other warlords are, but this is all the new content that you need to know in regards to zombies that's gonna be coming in. Now we jump into Warzone, which has the biggest update in the Reloaded update. I counted 10 different new features that are coming in all within this one update. The first one are gonna be the brand new modes. This one is called the Rebirth Resurgence Loaded. This is the photo that we have of it basically this will play just like regular resurgence the main difference is you will actually spawn in with your loadout so once you start the game you'll have your favorite loadout equipped you can change your class anytime you want once you get eliminated you will still respawn with that same loadout making it so you don't need to use any of the ground loot the only time you'll need ground loot is maybe munitions to grab armor stuff like that but you won't need any new weapons or anything like that because you'll have your favorites already equipped also increase the ratio of legendary crates meaning that you will find your loadout in a crate even if you start running out of ammo or something like that but anyways the next thing that they have is rebirth lockdown this basically is vandal lockdown just brought into the rebirth island the goal is to go and capture and control zones across the area and you score points for holding them down. It's basically the battle royale version of Hardpoint and it used to be on Vondel and now it's on Rebirth Island. Now we have the brand new public events. This is Rebirth Infill Strikes. We talked about this before. There is a possibility that this public event will start randomly at the start of a game. One of three locations could potentially get destroyed. The first one is Lighthouse. This is the left side is going to be what it looks like before. The right side is what it looks like after. Then you have the pre prison that's what it looks like before and then that's what it looks like after so completely the, the whole center of it is like unplayable and then it'll give you like a way to the top and then you also have the water tower the left side is completely normal the right side is completely destroyed according to devs it's not going to happen as often but it will occasionally happen if it does it'll be at the beginning of the game so if you're not interested in it you'll always be able to back out right away but the next thing that we have is going to be another public event called heavy armor once this event starts this will start at the beginning of a match 
This will give every single player in the lobby an extra armor plate slot, meaning if you have the standard three instead of three, you will now have four. This will increase an operator's armor hit points from 150 to 200. The extra plate slot is applied no matter the plate carrier type you have equipped. You begin the match with additional plate equipped except for the tempered plate carrier. You have four filled plates at the start of a match, 200 health, 50 health per plate. A tempered plate carrier, if equipped, has three plates with the third one partially filled at the start of a match. A full tempered plate carrier has 280. HP 66.7 health per play adjust your tactics accordingly it allows you to last longer between replating and lengthens the TTK and ammo expenditure when downing foes now we jump into the brand new equipment that we have the first one is called the utility box this is an early photo of what it looks like what the utility box does is it puts a armor box and a munitions box all in one and pretty much merges them together so now if you don't want to carry a munitions you don't want to carry an armor and use two slots you'll use just one instead and you'll be able to use this one one. It's a little bit rare. It says available as rare ground loot or you can purchase it from a buy station They don't give you the price But it's probably gonna be a little bit more expensive than getting them separately But the next thing that we have is gonna be a new equipment kill streak called the foresight now typical kill streaks will damage other players this one doesn't do that instead what it's going to do is it'll tell you where the next circles are going to end usually you get this information by doing and upload the intel contract and only gives you one circle ahead this one will actually give you all of the future circles ahead you can get this at a buy station or you can end up finding it on the floor but if you purchase this it'll literally tell you exactly how the game is going to go from the top all the way to the bottom and even like when the circle starts rotating it'll let you know all of that next thing we have is a returning equipment and this is going to be specialist perks they are officially making a return to warzone if you don't know what it is it's basically a specialist package that gives you every single perk that is available in the entire game meaning you have a total of 34 perks that are available from just this one package the original five that you automatically always have before putting on a perk package is tack pads commando gloves quick grip gloves climbing boots and overkill and then this long list right here that they provide which i'll go ahead and screenshot but in order to get this it's actually very hard to find apparently you will need to discover it by going to redacted or specific redact but going on to the next new content that we have this is the variable time of day occasionally there will be matches where the sky is brooding and overcast the sun is setting or the light sea fog begins to roll in sometimes the change in weather lasts the entire match and sometimes the weather may change part ways through the changes in conditions mean extra vigilance is recommended as unique items may spawn across the map during these infrequent events maybe specialist perks will spawn in at these times i'm not sure take advantage of every situation to win the game to summarize what they said it's completely random it can literally happen at any point and these are the different photos that we have of sometimes with fog sometimes sunny sometimes cloudy you just never know but following that the next thing that we have is the weapon trade station this one is very straightforward just from the name i believe this is also a returning feature that we saw in warzone and this is just to trade in your weapon so if you have a gold weapon you can trade it in in return it will give you a weapon that is two rarities lower but it will also give you an assortment of different items and what these items include are field upgrades tacticals lethals kill streaks gas masks and apparently on a very rare occasion you can also get a specialist perk token I have a small theory on how you might be able to get those maybe you have to go in get a polyatomic key card or an orion key card get one of those weapons that has like seven attachments on it those are like very rare weapons and then trade that at the station and you might be able to get a specialist perk token that way but we'll, we'll check that out later on once this update goes live but the last new piece of content that we have is going to be the bunker entrances so apparently the bunker entrances over on years extend bunker number five is going to be opening up they say that there are large tanks in there and they advise that you explore with extreme caution but they scan the area and there's no imminent threat so i'm not entirely sure if there's an easter egg or what's involved over there but there's just a new bunker that will be available for you to explore but this is pretty much everything that you need to know in regards to the brand new reloaded up Update. if there's anything else that i may have forgotten or missed comment it down below and let me know also i want to let you know that memberships are now live on the channel this is another way you can further support if you would like to but all i ask for is just drop a like and sub if you are not yet but it's been your boy Chido. thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace